Hey everybody, uh, Garden Sound here. I'm working on a larger uh, project, um, which is a PQ2. Hey, by uh, Gustav Gali. Um This is from his PCB Grinder series. Uh, and this is a Pultec inspired uh, stereo equalizer that has a master transformer out um, and a tube stage on the input, and I think it's really neat. Um, so this is a pretty big project, and as you can see, I've soldered a lot of the components already. Um, namely and mostly the pain in the butts are the uh, red um, mylar capacitors on the top and the circular sort of setup of the resistors on the bottom but uh, this board in particular has these things called Lorland switches right here um, and they're, they're awesome they, they allow you to select things individually and discreetly uh, the problem is there's a lot of them uh, 16 to be exact and they each have 12 points that you have to solder um, so turn this over, actually I think it's 14 points the upside, so you do the math, 14 times 16. Um, and what I want to show you today is just a basic guide on how to solder components, because it's a good thing for a musician to know how to do, especially if you own vintage gear. So let's set my camera up here, we're going to look at this pad right there, I'm going to show you just basic how to solder. I'm going to try to zoom in as far as I can with the lens, and might zoom in with software later. So again, we're looking right here. Uh, so when you solder something, you want to make sure that your iron is hot, um, you also want to make sure that you tin your iron. Uh, which means just adding a teeny bit of solder to the end of your iron like this. Just like that. That's all. Now what we're going to do is we're going to heat the component's lead, which is the little stick thing hanging out of the hole, as well as the pad, and then from the other side of the lead, all right, we're going to touch it with solder. You see it's starting to smoke, and we're just going to keep adding it and adding it. Stop, let it set, and take the iron off. That's a good solder. It should look like a little Hershey Kiss. Let's do a few here rapid fire. So again, heat the pad, heat the lead, opposite side, apply solder. When you've added a good amount, stop, let it settle, remove the iron. Let's keep going. Apply the iron, heat it up, apply solder from the opposite side. Uh, you can see I'm rushing that one a little bit. Must be nervous. Let it settle, remove the iron. And just keep doing that ad nauseum. And uh, yeah, that's how you solder. If you'd like a recommendation on uh, soldering iron, this is a really basic weller uh, you can buy off Amazon for around $45 with a variable voltage control. Um, I will include a link below to that, as well as the type of solder that I use. Um, this is really nice solder for electronics. It's made by Kester, uh, so I'll include a link to that. But that's it. Just a quick tip. Thanks for watching.